So I guess I'll show you our meal. Um, it's asparagus and baba ganoush, hash browns, garlic toast, and cherry tomatoes. And I'm going to mention this because some women gave me something. So this is, um, I guess they meet to uh, work on some sewing projects together. So uh, they gave me this beautiful little um, washable menstrual pad. And it's quite lovely. So um, I'm going to go help them sew some up to give to girls, I guess on uh, Monday. To where was it? It's at the Baptist Church. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, First Baptist Church, 1614 5th Hour, so. Yep. So. And these hash browns were given to me. I wouldn't have bought them. Yeah. I would never have bought them. It's like eating gravel. Really sharp. These ones? Yeah, yeah they're terrible. Yeah. I can hear you crunching them. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Maybe the worst hash browns I've ever eaten. Mm-hmm. I think I don't think they're supposed to be cooked in the oven. The instruction said oven, but of course. Maybe they were a little old, but in the way. So what's this? Baba ganoush. Okay, good. It's um, eggplant dip. An egg dip. Eggplant. Eggplant. Okay. Yeah, so it's just it's vegan. It's eggplant that I like, including the peels that I cooked on the campfire, so they're that taste smoky. Okay. Um, lemon juice, lemon zest, um, garlic, and tahini. Which is sesame paste. I'm going to try to mix it in with the hash browns. Well, that's what I'm trying to do, like eat a little bit of it. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to try to do it physically, instead of alternately. <laughs> See how that works out. See if it kind of ameliorates them. You don't have to eat the hash browns. Well, but Chihuahuas would like the hash browns, I'm sure. Maybe. Well, maybe not. Wouldn't that be funny? Get lost. Mm. They're going to put you up for adoption. Get out of mm -hmm. there. No, Chihuahuas are pretty loyal. Mm-hmm. It's not one of their foibles. Mm. Have many of them. Yeah, very loyal. Basset hounds, not. No, basset mm -hmm. hounds will follow any scent onto mm -hmm. another scent, onto a third scent, and end up losing themselves, partly on purpose. They really think they are better food providers than their owners. <laughs> In some ways they are. I mean, mm -hmm. they've sent out garbage, mm -hmm. poop, whatever. I'm sure Copper was sitting around thinking, I can smell that there's pizza out there. What's wrong with you guys? That's right. It's month old pizza. Mm -hmm. Dropped out of a dumpster. Was there, yeah, there were pizza places mm -hmm. around here. People would drop pizza all over the place, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the worst was he'd smell chicken, you spare know, half eaten and stuff. Yeah. yeah, spare ribs. I was ribs. constantly having to reach down his throat you to know, grab things. Because he, there was no way of hiding it from him, right? Mm -hmm. Or preventing him, from, and he was sneaky about it. Yeah. You know, he, yeah, you really had to watch him. Oh. He'd wait until you're. You were focused on something else, and then he'd start wolfing stuff down, right? Mm -hmm. so, he was a smart old fella. 
He's one old dog that could learn new tricks. What uh, blew my mind was, how old was he? Maybe 12 years old. Maybe that's exaggerating something. 11, though. Say, when he, 10 and a half. No younger than 10 and a half when he learned behind you. Like if I threw stuff over his head. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't grasp it at first. But then he understood behind him. And it was behind him. It was mm -hmm. behind him. And we've no other dog that we've had has been able to figure that out. And he figured it when he was a pretty close to a senior citizen. So he's a sharp dog. Mm -hmm. I thought other dogs had figured out. That's terrible. Okay. Those hash browns, they're really Did inedible. you actually mention a brand name on this? No. <laughs> they, they almost deserve it. God. Marketing this kind of stuff, charging money for it, yeah. uh, giving it away is uh, one thing. I'm going to try doing something else with it rather than mm. it in the oven. Is there more of it left? Is that what you were saying? Unfortunately, yes. Mm -hmm. Yo, well. Yeah, this uh, stuff isn't sinking in, the Babaganoushi is not sinking in the way I hoped it would. So I tried, you know. I've, uh, you probably were skeptical. I'm not that good with devising, like improvising with food, you know. I've made some things up. My best improvisation, Welch's grape juice and icing. The best icing ever. And uh, here I invented it. But I'm a loser when it comes to any other form. No, I make a good cheese and tomato sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Little thick on the cheese, but what the hey, you gotta have fun. Yeah, I'm. Just I make not a good cucumber sandwich too. Yeah. And a good salmon sandwich. Mm -hmm. But uh, what, you know, sandwiches are like. I, I'm almost reaching my level of uh, incompetence. You know. Mm -hmm. Anything beyond that, I'm confident. Except fudge. I learned how to make fudge when I was a teenager. It wasn't as good as my mom's, but it's better than stuff. Did she teach I you? Com she did. She did. That's nice yeah. of her. And, uh, yeah, she was a good teacher. Mm. And uh, it never was as good as, like, her average. Mm -hmm. Every so occasionally she blew. No, at all. Yeah, my dad knew how to make fudge, too. Well, he was Probably actually... Probably is, Mom Tara. I think you were saying pretty good in the kitchen, right? Yep. So he wouldn't have had to take consolation in that. I have to kind of take consolation in that. No, his but apparently was fudge, fudge is hard to make. John, my brother, made very good chili. Yeah, he actually made better chili than my mom. He'd always use corn, as I recall. Mm -hmm. Now, your dad's big secret? Brown sugar, right? Yeah. Not, that, yeah, not that I ever had his chili, but you described well, it to me. And I'm such a sugar You fan. have, because I've made it. Oh, yeah, exactly. But you were saying... But could I don't you make do it, it as that good way as anymore. You know? no. Well, I can't have sugar. Like that. And no, I never made it as good as him. This was very sweet. Well, you had a sweet tooth. I, yeah. Maybe almost more sweet than mine. Mm -hmm. um, this sounds about the same, though, wouldn't you say? Same taste as mine in pop. What are the chances? You know, it's not even close. Gr for me, grape and orange pop. Mm -hmm. And with him, it was the same way, apparently. I didn't even do a good job on the asparagus. Of course, I, yeah. Well, I like asparagus, so. I actually like broccoli. I like cauliflower. And I've gotten to the point where I like cooked cabbage. I hated it when I was a kid. Um, kale, 
That one's a tough sell. You've actually, with the kale nuggets, you found maybe the best way to serve up kale. You should be proud of that. You know, I'd say you should be marketing it, but no one would no eat one the would eat it. Is kale is that bad? Yeah, nobody But would it's kale. it's amazing. You've already dealt with your kale recipe for the kale nuggets, right? Mm hmm Yeah. So what do you think the secret though is? Just for review really purposes. For kale? For the kale nuggets. Pulp. It's just the pulp. So what that acts is like uh, not necessarily a buffering agent, but it just kind of uh, it mellows out the flavor. Yep, yeah. that's amazing. Something that I mean, I know it's not simple to make because it's from juicing, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, so that takes a lot of time. But so we drink the juice and then kale nugget pulp. Well, that's killing two birds with one stone because when you juice, you're getting pretty well all the goodies. And then the pulp helps with the kale, and kale is a one powerful customer. When it comes to dealing with any number of ailments, uh, according to any variety of sources. Yeah, it's too bad you mixed in that baba ganoush, because... It was good, is what yeah. you're saying. And I might be spoiling it. Well, we'll see what happens. It's So you've got a theory about this, like I have for drinks generally. You know, like, and this is non-alcoholic. Don't mix, don't mix drinks, like mm -hmm. uh, fruit drinks, because it'll always taste like the worst thing that you mix in there. Mm -hmm. So I like mangoes, but mango juice I don't like, and they've done a lot of that. I know. For the last 20 years or 25 years, mixing mango with a bunch of things. Mm -hmm. It just, there's something coarse in it or something like that. I don't know what it is, but it's, I love mangoes, but yeah. I hate mango juice and anything mango juice touches. Excuse me. Well, that's improved it for me. So. Has it? Boy, it has a smoky flavor. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, that's the secret of baba ganoush. It's cooking your eggplant over the campfire. Wrap that's them in amazing. tin foil yeah. or another cooking container and let them steam away in there and they'll get kind of the skin will get smoky that's eggplant yep which ain't that fancy but food. no but it sure is when you cook it over the campfire yep. and turn it into baba ganoush yeah that's you awesome. gave it some character there and I'd meant to wait and eat baba ganoush until after because um, after reading Amanda Laird's book she said um, that the sesame seeds and stuff should be eaten at the second half of um, the menstrual cycle. So I'd wanted to you wait, but I just had or? such a craving. I okay. I can't remember what she said about okay. it. Um, what the specifics were? Maybe for, sel selenium. Got a I lot of know. selenium. So yeah, I can't I can't remember exactly. But the flax seeds and stuff at the beginning, and then mm -hmm. the I think it was flax and sunflower seeds at the beginning, and then hmm. pumpkin and sesame or something. Oh, it's Sesame Street. Uh, street. Um, I was mixing it up with sunflower seeds. Sunflowers are the ones that have. Oh, I think I got it wrong. I think it's sunflower at the end. Okay. And sesame. And pumpkin and flax at the beginning. But I did put some pumpkin seeds on here, so I did get some. Pumpkin seeds are like. Oh, yeah. I think they're fairly expensive. Oh, I don't They're know. They're probably worth it. I, I don't think. pay attention. They're one of those things that we just get. There I don't go. pay attention to the price of it. Yeah. It's just... Like this asparagus. I bought this asparagus today. Worth it. Yeah. Yeah, over it. Always worth well, it. Well, you don't really mention brand names. Well, oh, well, I guess you could say where you got it from. We'll say it was matter. President's Choice Store. Yeah. That's where I went today. Mm -hmm. And I bought tahini. And that's and the main reason why you went there, right? Yes, you because I turmeric. really had a craving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's basically sesame seeds, right? The tahini, yeah. That's, yeah, that's all there is. Kind of like an oil. It's sesame yeah. butter, basically. Yeah, it's kind of like a, well, butter is kind of like an oil. 
more like a paste, really. And I put a lot, I put quite a bit in there. Yep. Because I like the flavor of it. Some people cut it down with um, yogurt and stuff. I don't like that. I just hmm. put lots of tahini in there. Yep. Anyway. I guess that's it. Oh, I... Did you have more baba ganoush or... Oh, yeah. yeah. So, um... Maybe save those hash browns for me. Like, no, you're not going to eat those in so a second. So yeah, but here's what I found. See, I'm letting it soak. The baba ganoush soak into this stuff. Okay. See, like, listen to me crunch. A little bit of crunch. But not like what you see. A little okay. crunch, but not much. <coughs> it's actually edible. All right. Do you need some more water? I, I could use some, some water. water yeah, 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 yeah. It Thanks. sounded like you were... Yeah, something went down the wrong way. Yeah. <clears throat> you could have just drank it. <laughs> anyway, um, so the ladies that gave me this wonderful, pretty little package, um, they said that uh, they'll give out their patterns to anybody. So if um, you're interested in washable, reusable menstrual pads, then um, contact these these ladies or just show up to, for um, sewing with them. And they'll give you the pattern. You can make all the pads you need. It looks as though you can spend a day there. Days yeah. for girls. Is what, yeah. um, maybe it's every day. It no, says for no. every girl everywhere. No. It's just for that day. The um, first Monday of the month from 1 to 3. Well, okay. That's when they get together. I thought they'd get together all the time. Well, they might, but that's, I for guess maybe that's when, stuff. yeah. Mm. For this, maybe that's what they do. Yeah. So. And that's I'm First gonna... Baptist Church, you were saying? Mm. Mm. Well, there's one Christian and denomination the... that's actually doing some mm -hmm. useful stuff now. Very useful. And so, um, the one woman told me that if I spend the day there, I can basically take as many as I need. <laughs> but I'm the day not... there or the two hours there? Yeah, well, no. but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to help them out and I'll get the pattern off of them. And then I have a sewing machine here. I can make as many as I want here. And I'm very thankful that they're going to give me their pattern out anyway. So I don't need to... I can actually help them. <laughs> I don't need to help me there. Um, anyway. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. Because it's a nice thing that they're doing, I think. Do you call that a shout out then? I don't know what you call it. I've heard that term. I don't well, know that's it probably it then. Maybe.